friends, welcome to my review of my November Ipsy bag and my unbagging-ish of the December Ipsy bag. I love, love, love this format because you not only get to see what I got in my bags, but you also get to hear full reviews on everything I got in my previous bag. So let's go ahead and jump right into what I got in my November bag. This is not sent to me for review. I pay for this outright just like everybody else. So let's go ahead into the products that I got. First, I got the Novex Brazilian Keratin Extra Deep Hair Cream. This is a wonderful, wonderful conditioner. Uh, what I do with it, which is maybe not exactly what you're supposed to do with it, but I like it, is that I'll shampoo my hair, I'll put some of this in my hair after I shampoo it, throw my hair up um, in like a ponytail-ish thing in the shower, and then I will wash the rest of my body, do everything else that I'm supposed to do, then I'll pull my hair down and wash it, rinse it out um, to give it some time to set in my hair, and it works wonderfully like that. There may be some things about putting ponytail holders in your hair while it's wet. That probably isn't very good to do with your hair, but that's what I do. So that's what I'm telling you I do. Because I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of using a ponytail holder in my hair while it's wet. So I'm just going to tell you that. Use your beware. But overall, this is a wonderful product. Highly recommend this. Next thing I'm pulling out is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is a really, really nice mascara. The only thing that I do want to warn you about is that the wand is ginormous, so if you have small eyes, you may not enjoy this. The full size is quite pricey. I do feel like you can get drugstore options that will do the exact same thing as this, but it really is a wonderful mascara, so if you are looking for... Let's get it flipped around the right way. If you're looking for a really good, more expensive mascara, I would recommend trying this one. No flaking, no smudging, lengthening, volumizing, separating, all of that goodness. Um, but I do think there's drugstore options that are just as good. Uh, if you're not sure what those drugstore options are, you can check out my 2015 favorites video that'll be listed down below. I have a couple options in that video. All right, Insper Eyeshadow. I was really pleasantly surprised with this. This is in the shade Carnival, and I use this in my my crease, even though it is kind of a, I would say it's a suede color. Um, I wouldn't say that it's really satin. I guess it's kind of satiny. It's more like a suede. And it worked really well as a transition color, which I'm surprised because usually I like a nice matte transition color. But because it isn't shimmery, it's got a little bit of a shine to it, but it's not shimmery. It worked really well up in the crease, so I used this for many, many looks this month, and I've really been enjoying it. I'm curious to try some more products from the Insper brand because I was so impressed with this eyeshadow. Very, very creamy, very easy to use, very blendable, works well with other shadows, long wearing, all of that good stuff. Definitely a good product. Excited about it. And then in here is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Tristique. Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Chili Red. And it looks strange because when you first get a Tristique product in your uh, glam bag or when you buy one, it's like, oh my goodness, it's open. It's gonna get everywhere. That's just the packaging. This is what it looks like inside. Uh, and I do really like this. It's not super moisturizing. Wear time is pretty good. I haven't worn it. I've only worn it one other time other than this. And it was really just to test it because I don't wear these kinds of shades on the daily. These are more filming shades for me. And I haven't really, I haven't used it for filming. Uh, I do want to wear it today. I'm wearing it for the second time today. Uh, but overall, it seems very nice, it, but it's not moisturizing. Just be aware of that. And the wear time is very nice. Uh, it wears down pretty evenly. It does take a couple of layers if you want that truly opaque shade. Uh, it, it doesn't, when it first goes on, it's a tad bit on the sheerer side. Uh, so just be aware of that. You may need a double layer of it if you like that opaque look. There is absolutely no scent to it at all. It's completely scentless. I do not smell anything. And then the last thing I got in my Ipsy bag was this Liquid Gossamer by Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this. I know some people really enjoyed it. I feel like if you use it with a stippling brush, it tends to go a little bit better into the skin. But I like to use my highlighter just with my finger and kind of blend it in. And I just didn't feel like this, I feel like it sat on my skin unless I use the stippling brush. I mean, you can make it work, but I don't think that I would purchase this or recommend purchasing this unless you have a stippling brush to go with it to kind of get it to blend into your skin. But if you can get it to work, it is very beautiful. I'll swatch it for you. Ah, it's exploding. So it just kind of sits there 
on top of the skin, if you can see how that works. So that was my November bag. Overall, I feel like it was a really good bag. I mean, just these two products alone, I would definitely pay $10 for, if I flip it the right way. I would definitely pay $10 just for these two products alone. They're both wonderful. Um, and then this is also really, really fun to try. This kind of pushes it over the edge. These two I could kind of do without just because of the shade. It isn't really a shade I wear very often, but it's a really nice product if you like that shade. And then this, I probably wouldn't purchase at all. That's just my personal opinion. So let's go ahead and move on to what I got in my December Ipsy bag. Okay, so in December, we did get an extra gift in our Ipsy bags from Michelle Fon. If you've been subscribed for at least, I think it was three years, two, three years, I subscribed at like maybe the eighth um, Ipsy bag. I subscribed in the first year. Um, so I think that's why I got this. Uh, it did come with a little note from Michelle. It says, hi, dreamer. And then it just talks about, did you know that you were one of the first to subscribe to the glam bag? I consider you one of the founding member of Ipsy. You shared this dream and all these wonderful things. Michelle always says that are very fluffy and frou-frou and happy and kumbaya-ish. Uh, and, and I do thank Michelle for sending this to, uh, to us. I think that was very, very kind of her. It did come with some application tools that I promptly lost. I don't know what I did with them. I have used this on my eyes twice since I got it, and I feel like the shades are nice. Um, the formula isn't my favorite. I don't feel like it's super creamy. I don't feel like it's super easy to work with, but it's definitely nicer than your average drugstore palette. It's I would compare this in quality to like Morphe eyeshadows or... Um, Morphe eyeshadows, you know, where they're good, but they're not like blow you away amazing. L'Oreal Le palettes are similar to this. I do feel like the lasting power on this is better than the L'Oreal Le palettes. Uh, but I mean, overall, it's not a great formula for me, but it is a good formula and I'm very thankful to have for, it. I really like the bag for December, the bag that they gave us. It's got the cute little lips for Ipsy. I think it's super cute. Some people were saying it's kind of boring, but I think it's really cute. Uh, things that I got in here that I have tried so far, the Honey Moisture Mask with Propolis Extract. I'm really enjoying this. I'm not a big mask fan, but this is really more of a moisturizer than a mask. Uh, what you do with it is you put it all over your face kind of thick. You let it sit there for 20 minutes and then you rub in the excess. It smells like real honey, like not that stuff you put on your biscuits at KFC. You know what I mean? It's like real, like honey, honey out of the hive. And you can really smell it very, very strong when you put it on your face. If you don't like that scent, you probably will not enjoy using this. I personally love that scent, so I don't mind it. It feels great on the skin. And then rubbing it in, it feels very nice. It does get a little bit tacky at first. Once you do that 20 minutes and you rub it in, it feels a little bit tacky. But in about five minutes, that feels like it goes away. And I have been sleeping with this on my face the past few nights, and I've really been enjoying it a lot. Then we got something that I have not tried yet. This is the Chlorine O Floral. Floral water, makeup remover. Let's read the English version, Jen. Uh, I have not used this yet, but I'm excited to use it. I love Chlorine as a brand. I love their dry shampoo. It's fantastic. So I'm really excited to try this. Let me smell it for you. Smells very sweet and a little bit floral. So I'm curious to try this and see how it works. And then I did try this also. This is the Formula X nail polish and this is in the shade Revved Up. I used this, I put this on my nails. This chipped within less than 24 hours, this chipped. And I did use the Formula X, the system, under half of my nails. I did every other nail on both hands. I did one, two, three on this hand with the system and then I did one, two on this hand with the system and then some with just uh, top uh, base and top coat, just regular base and top coat. I saw no difference using the Formula X, the system with it. If you don't know what the system is, it's a cleanser and then a base coat and then a top coat um, from Formula X. And I wanted to know whether that would help this lasting power. And I can tell you it absolutely did not. This is definitely a fail nail polish for me, unless you want to reapply it every single day, maybe even more than once a day. It chipped so fast. I was so disappointed in this really disappointed. I do want to use it for nail stamping and see if that is a better use for this, but as far as a straight nail polish, total fail. Total fail. All right, next thing in here I got was a, um, a, a concealer brush by Beau 
Gashis, I don't know how to pronounce that, G-A-C-H-I-S, um, and this is just a concealer brush. I don't particularly like concealer brushes, the flat kind. Um, I've heard that it's very, flat kinds of brushes are very good for applying masks, um, but I just, I don't know, I just, I'm not a big fan of this style of brush. I will use it and try it out for review purposes, but I wasn't very excited to see this in my bag. And then the last thing that we got was a Pacifica lip product, which also I have not tried yet. Uh, this is a beautiful shade. It is in the shade Nudie Red, and I'll swatch it on my hand for you. It feels very creamy, and it smells like plastic. But I like Pacifica as a brand, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm hoping that the plastic scent goes away as you use it. Because sometimes it sits on the lips and you can smell it for a really long time and sometimes it dissipates pretty quickly. So I'm curious to see how this is going to wear on the lips. There will be a few, few the, 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 there will be a full review of the December glam bag, Ipsy bag, whatever you want to call it, in January when I unbox my January bag for you. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss the full review of all of these products, including the Clarine and the Pacifica lip product. Um, so definitely the subscribe button is either right there, there's a little box, or down below. Don't forget to do that so you don't miss my future videos, including What's Up in Makeup every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., where I tell you all the latest makeup releases all over the United States. Thanks so much for watching this Ipsy Glam Bag review and unbagging. I hope you enjoyed it. Mad love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!